It's one year since we launched our new AVX control system. And in that time, we've got more than 30 vessels in the water and 15 more vessels in the pipeline. We've been really pleased with the feedback we've had from operators. They like the appearance. They like the way that the interface works. Boat builders and installers are liking the compact footprint of the units and the ease of installation. But overall, I think the most important thing is that people appreciate the robustness of the system, the way it's been designed and waterproofed and the levels of redundancy within it. So this year we're launching some new features. We've got a Voyage Data Recorder interface, some new steering control options such as a tiller, and we're doing our first class approved vessel in the US, which is a large ferry. So AVX is our system for the future, and it will be our platform for autonomy, electrification and digitization as we go forwards. Now Jet Anchor has been around since about 2016 as a product for our Blue Arrow control system. Uh, it's a patented, low-cost dynamic positioning system that uses GPS and inertial measurement units to really get the most out of water jets in terms of their capability for station keeping. And that's proven now in over 50 vessels, uh, survey vessels, military, wind farm support, workboats, etc. It is a skipper assistance system. It relies at the skipper being at the helm. That's very important. And for Blue Arrow, it is an open water system. Now, Jet Anchor on AVX has the same two basic modes of operation. It has virtual anchor and station keeping, but new on AVX is the ability to use it for precision maneuvering. So let's go through those modes one by one, starting with virtual anchor. We recognize that holding station isn't always about absolute position and heading. There are many examples where just being in the general area is more important, such as waiting for technicians to come off a wind turbine or being on a military boat and awaiting the next orders. What you can see in the video is how virtual anchor works. So it throws a uh, imaginary waypoint 15 meters in front of the vessel and the boat is allowed to move around in the wind and the waves. Important to note is there's no actual anchor in that shot that is simply moving around a virtual waypoint. And why would you want to do that? Well, first and foremost, it's the most comfortable state for the vessel to be sat in. Uh, it doesn't end up broadside onto the wind rolling around, so crew comfort is important. And it's also the most fuel efficient of the modes. And it has the ability to hold position up to very high sea states because it's got the full available thrust from the jets going forwards. So the second mode in jet anchor is station keeping. This is really conventional dynamic positioning. It controls position and heading simultaneously. It's really uh, using the unique capabilities of jets to deliver that and to deliver it with very high accuracy. It uses small movements of the hydraulic cylinders to change thrust in any direction using the steering and the reverse deflector. And what that means is there's no gear changes. So there's no wear of the drivetrain as it switches from forwards to reverse thrust, which it might do many times a minute whilst it's trying to hold position accurately. It can carry on doing that all day long. Now the accuracy of that, it is vessel dependent, it is weather condition dependent, but in general our customer base has been blown away by the capabilities and we're seeing them finding more and more creative ways to use that system to help them in their daily work. So that brings us to this year's launch. For AVX this year, we're going to approve the use of it in close quarters. Up till now with Blue Arrow, the system has been an open water only system. But we're seeing the capabilities of the system in AVX to be sufficient to allow people to use it around the marina, around other boats. And what you'll see on the video coming up, just to give an example of that, is around five minutes of accelerated footage of a boat between four stanchions. So there are no ropes holding this boat in position. And we're in about 16 to 18 knots of wind and some tide current as well. That brings us now to the precision maneuvering feature that we're also launching with AVX. So not only are we saying you can use it in close quarters, but you can actually use the system to execute some very impressive close quarter maneuvering whilst still in station keeping mode. So just to explain that, you would enter station keeping on the boat 
And then from that point onwards, the boat will hold position until you move the controller. And you can see on the video us moving the mouse boat controller, the boat starts to respond. But very importantly, it is still using GPS feedback whilst in this low speed maneuvering mode. What that means is you can have a very high confidence in the maneuvering of the vessel, even when there's wind and tide around you. The boat really should still do what you're asking it to do without consideration for that. The video that's coming up now gives an example of how it could be used in docking. And we've got a similar level of wind and tide in this maneuver. This is a nine meter vessel, but we've seen it work perfectly all the way up to 23 meters and it can certainly go beyond that. You can see how it delivers excellent control with very few control movements to execute the dock. And it gives great confidence for the skipper during that process. Now if we cut to without the station keeping system in effect, without precision maneuvering turned on, even an experienced skipper has to execute more control movements and delivers much less accuracy and the vessel is much more prone to the prevailing conditions in terms of how it's blown around during that maneuver. This next video shows how it can be used around obstacles. The video is showing the same boat in open water, similar sea state conditions, and it's just going to maneuver around the bollard. You can see how it compensates for the conditions, and during this maneuver, clearly the vessel is at least in two points during the process, side onto the wind and the weather. The next video shows a more complex maneuver. Remember, this is just using jets, there are no bow thrusters on this boat this time moving sideways, forwards and backwards through the system of bollards, really just showing how accurate the heading control is and how pure the sideways and forward and reverse motion is. And that's really the value of that GPS assistance. The final example shows the capabilities of the station keeping system as a safe and stable platform for work. This is a video of a work boat in Norway lifting around about a ton of tiles off the deck using a crane. And it's particularly impressive to see how accurately the boat controls its position. In particular, watch how the jets respond as the tiles start to move. This creates a safe and stable platform for work. And whilst the skipper is still at the helm, it allows him to keep his eyes outside and watch the work rather than working the controls. This also prevents damage to the boat as this maneuver used to be done whilst pushing onto the wharf. So in summary, we're continuing to expand our AVX offering. This year we have new features, new units and class approval. And remember this system is capable of being installed on vessels up to 80 meters with up to six jets and six control stations. And of course, jet anchor itself is becoming more capable. It's now available for use in close quarters and has the added advantage of precision maneuvering. AVX is our platform for the future and is gonna be the springboard we use as vessels become more autonomous, greater use of skipper assistance features, and as electrification of the driveline and digitization of the bridge continue to evolve.